Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Timothy Atik, the Director of Breakaway Ministries, who just brought us a message called Money, Gift, or God. Welcome, Timothy. Thanks. So what an interesting choice uh, that you brought here today on December 3rd as we all are approaching the holidays and uh, just survived Black Friday and yep. all the holiday spending. And so today we're talking about money and how our view of it really mm -hmm. shapes uh, our life and our faith and our relationship yep. with God. Um, and so I'm listening today and I'm thinking, this is really hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm evaluating my own life and just thinking through um, just the holidays and the gifts we have planned out and all, all, the, all the spending that we're doing. Yeah. Um, and uh, so for me, there's a lot of application and a lot of things that I struggle with too, but I just wanted to ask you, for, for you, like what are, um, what are ways this plays out in your life? Yeah. What are warning signs uh, that maybe you've shifted from one place to the other and in your stewardship. Um, yeah. How does that? Well, my plan was to give this message and get in my car and go straight back to college <laughs> station and y'all figure it out on your own. So since that's not a possibility, uh, I, I can only speak from my own life. And I'll just say that when it comes to money, every single person's situation is, is different. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want to give overly simplistic and generic answers to really tough situations for each individual. But speaking from my own life, I can find myself on hitting two extremes. One extreme is where I find myself laying in bed at night, not being able to sleep because I'm anxious and worried about money. And some of it is the what ifs. It's me allowing myself to go down a hypothetical road, play out scenarios in my mind of what if this expense and this expense and this expense and think about taxes and all of that stuff. And I consider that an extreme mm -hmm. because God has called me not to be anxious about anything. That's actually a command in the scripture. So for me, that is a, that's a red flag mm -hmm. that money has taken a wrong place in my life. And so in those moments, I have to, the, the, the hard thing is that in those moments, it's not just about pulling back and like getting the right answer. The, the reality is I'm in a situation that I can't necessarily control. Yeah. And so allowing myself to step back and say, you know what, God, I, I can't control this situation. I, I'm not in control. I can be thankful for what you have given me. Mm -hmm. I can be faithful with what you have given me. Maybe it means that we need to go over the budget again and see where we're allocating things. And I've told myself that I've cut everything I can cut, but sometimes that's really not true. Mm -hmm. And I've got to evaluate my wants and my needs even more in this particular time in life. But I do know that I can't stay in this place where I'm worrying and anxious because mm -hmm. That isn't That's what, not God. what God wants for us. The, the other s extreme that uh, I've found myself in is where I'm not thinking about money at all. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just easier to not think about it. It is. It's life is busy. Mm -hmm. Life is hectic. We just had another kid. Hey, we're just going to get through. So we're going to pick up every day. We're going to pick up food every day. And we just, we don't have time to think about it. It's just too busy. And that that is an extreme as well, mm -hmm. because the fact that I'm not thinking about it at all also shows that I'm not being intentional with where my money is going. Mm -hmm. And if God is giving me something to steward, that means I'm not thinking at all about where His money is intentionally going. Now that, even if I can pay off my credit card bill in full every month, I'm still in an extreme because I'm not being intentional with what God yeah. has given me. So in those times, you know, the answer isn't to become relentless about a budget to where 
you know, multiple times a day, every day. I'm checking and making sure and that I think people can make their budget um, their God. Mm -hmm. And they find because so much can pride. Control, right, and, they, and controlling that's, that's that. That's control mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. And it zaps all the enjoyment out of life. Mm -hmm. um, in those times where I'm not thinking about money at all, I think it comes back to, you know, God, this money is, is not mine, it's mm -hmm. yours. We are going to enjoy life. We are going to pick mm -hmm. up food. And there's times where it makes sense, where life is stressful, and, and that's what we need to do. Or our marriage could really use a getaway, and so we're going to spend money. We're even going to dip into savings to do it because our marriage would benefit from it. But we're going to be intentional. We're going to think about where our money is going. We're going to sit down and analyze if there's anything we do need to cut or reallocate just so that we are being good stewards. Mm -hmm. The other, so those two things are warning, those are red flags. The other red flag in my life is when it comes to giving mm -hmm. um, because I really do believe that there's more joy, that the greatest amounts of joy is really found when you are giving yourself away and not controlling your life and hoarding your life, but it's hard to get to that point. And there's times in my life where I've found myself thinking like, okay, I just want to make sure that I give 10% this year. So whatever that is, let me just kind of mindlessly, I'm going to set up auto withdrawals and I'm just not going to think about it. I'm just, I gave my 10%. Oh, this year I even gave 11%. That makes me feel even better about myself. Well, that's not, that's not what God wants us to do. He's given us money to finance his kingdom. He, he's given us his money to finance his kingdom. His kingdom doesn't need financing, but he's given it to us to, to just play a part. Yeah, to be part of what to he's doing. To be a doing. part of it. And so anytime I'm just trying to check off a box, like, oh, this person asked for money. Okay, what's the minimum amount I can give? Or I just give a blanket gift of 25, you know. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are still red flags because it's, God, you, you want me to be a part of your kingdom work. Where do you want me investing? How much do you want us investing? Do you want us investing more this month than last month? That's why if you set up a reoccurring thing, then you need to also set up a reminder every month to pray for the gift that you're giving so that you're staying engaged with what you're giving. To yeah, you. we uh, back in January, I really talked a lot this year here at FaithBridge about generosity, yeah. um, you know, and God calling and God is so generous with yeah. us just in his grace and his gifts and all that he's given us through Jesus. Uh, and for us to grow yeah. in our generosity too. And one thing that I've learned it, it is, it is besides the intentionality you're talking about, it's a constant evaluation, yeah, you know, of have I gotten comfortable? Is it sacrificial anymore? Is it not? Um, and as life changes, just evaluating where I am in my walk with Jesus in terms of being generous with people mm -hmm. um, and ministries and gifts and things that we're giving. Um, and so I believe that today when you talked about this heart concept of your money, then in order to keep your heart in check, yeah. you've got to be accountable uh, to God and to evaluate and to be intentional and to keep those things in check yeah. um, to be able to continue to grow yeah. Uh, in this area. And so uh, as hard as a message like yeah. this is to hear at the beginning of December, I think it's very well timed so that yeah. the rest of December as we start into January, we're thinking about it and we're being intentional yeah. and we're evaluating what God has for us. Well, I think the fact that Jesus talked so much about money, it means that our prayer life should reflect what he talked about a lot, that it should be a part of our prayer life, whether mm -hmm. it's dealing with the anxiety that we're feeling or asking God to help us be more intentional with, mm -hmm. with our giving. So if any, if there's any application, it's that it's spend more time intentionally praying about what God wants you doing with your money or how to deal with the fact that you don't feel like you have enough, but mm -hmm. to take it before the Lord and let him lead and, and direct. And also for you to seek wise counsel, seek mm -hmm. wise counsel from the church yeah. and from, from others. So, All right. Uh, what yeah. a great message. So glad to have you back with Thanks. us yeah. and uh, glad you're joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.